Happy birthday to Sausage. Hey, little man. Are you watching SpongeBob? Is that what we got you for your birthday? Mummy's hairbrush. Mm. Oh, look what he's found. Wait for it. There, look, he's got a big smile on his face. I forgot, I forgot they were there. You put them tight. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Sullivan, is it your birthday today? Yay! <coughs> hey, yeah, morning, boys. Hey, everybody, it's Paulie, Sullivan, and Steph. And it's Sullivan's <laughs> birthday. <laughs> no! He's Get back here and stuff on the bed. A year ago today, Sullivan was born at 1 pm. Steph, you were in labour for how long? Three days. That was a stressful time, wasn't it? But it was all worth it to get you out. And what are we going to do today for your birthday? We are going to Mars Zoo! Yay! Go see the monkeys! So <sighs> today it's all about the penguins. If I put one in the car, they'll be fine, won't they? You Look. can ask to feed the penguin. No, no, no. If I put one in the car, you know, slip a few, you know, like 30, 40 quid to them. And just, if one ends up in the car, oh. you know, just let it slide. Just uh, taking Barney out to go to the toilet. Surprised he's gone out. He doesn't like getting his tootsies cold. I'm so tired. I uh, came home from work around five this morning, and um, I've not really slept. I just can't. Like I mean, my sleep pattern's ruined. I'm just wrecked. Absolutely wrecked. I've fallen asleep for about 15 minutes. I'm back up again. Uh, today we're off to the zoo, so hopefully I'm get some sleep. But at the moment, I'm going to hopefully be able to see Sully open all his presents for the first time. I'm looking forward to that. Um, but we'll treat him a little bit beforehand, like we've got him a, a recliner, uh, which he lies in before going to bed uh, to have his milk. A little kitty recliner. It fits, fits him with all the other furniture, which is really cute. So before he gets down there, like we've got the, the fort of boxes there. You can tell that uh, that fort is going to be um, the main thing he's going to be interested in. Doesn't matter about the toys. <laughs> You've got a wiggly Barney on the floor, you just can't catch him. A little bike, basically. What we do is you hold onto this, you push him around, obviously. You sit in there. For now, you won't be pedaling it, but when he gets a little bit older, you will do. Obviously, you can put little things in there. This is what Grandma and Granddad got him, like a little, little tiny police cosy coupe. I had one of these as a kid, not a police one, I had a normal cosy coupe. All these presents here, tons of presents for Sully today. It's, uh, it's incredible how everyone unites you know, together. I'm surprised how many people care as well about things I just, I, I thought you know, I'm a kid, less people would care, but <laughs> it's great that Sully's surrounded by so many people that love him. It's, it's just an incredible feeling. Tomorrow's going to be incredible. Uh, we've got a birthday party for Sullivan. A lot of people are going to show up. I'm surprised how many people are going to show up. It's only for a couple of hours. High five. Sit. High five. Yeah. Hello. <sighs> you tired? No. I will have my caffeine fix this morning. I'll make you a cup of tea, it's fine. <gasps> Look at all your presents! <laughs> Do you reckon he likes it? Yeah. Who's that? Is it Eagle Piggle? Eagle Piggle! <laughs> oh, Max. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>
this one yeah. is for mommy to be able to read to you when you're a little bit older. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Look, for a very special son on your birthday, one today. <laughs> To our darling son Sullivan, happy first birthday, beautiful boy. All our love always, Mummy, Daddy and Barney. Happy birthday wishes to our gorgeous little boy, whose first year in the world has been a never-ending joy. There's such a lot to do, like celebrating steps, words with your first and your first birthday too. Look, something for Daddy to build. It's, yeah, it's a trampoline. A trampoline. For a special little boy, you've had lots of firsts. Your first laugh, your first smile, but you've never had your first birthday before. To Sullivan, happy first birthday. I can't believe how fast this year has flown by. I hope you have a fantastic day. It won't be long till we're doing challenges like your daddy, Uncle Matt, Uncle Harry and Uncle Lewis. Ha ha ha. Big hugs, kisses and lots of love, Caitlin. Yay. <laughs> That's from Paul's super fan. <laughs> Thank you to Caitlin. Much love. And much love to from Sullivan Tootlet. I am so tired. How are you? I'm tired too. We're off to the zoo to see the monkeys and penguins. As I said before, if a penguin ends up in my car, I'm not going to take any responsibility for that. It's in there for a reason. That's not a penguin. <laughs> right. Oh. There's the birthday boy. Happy birthday to Sullivan. Ah, uh, Sullivan, you beautiful. Hey everybody, it's a change of plan, isn't it? We went to the zoo and it just closed. So uh, we were running late, weren't we? And we just lost track of time and we were late. So we're now here at a place called Moby's, which is a soft play area. We're going to be playing in there, aren't we? We're going to have a little play around, throw some ball pit balls. He's just too, ex he's just too excited. We need to go in there. We can go in there now. What's this area, little man? The sensory room. We'll get you some food in a second, won't we? What's this? What's this? What's that? Look at all those colours. <laughs> so it's now about half eleven at night. It's night time. Yeah, I was so tired about six o'clock. Um, we went to a kids play area instead of going to the zoo because we just missed entry time into the zoo multiple reasons why we missed it so we're going to go on sunday instead tomorrow is sullivan's birthday party so next two days are going to be very busy anyway uh today i've just been so tired i hardly slept after my work my shift and then i had to try and get a video edited and it's the first time i've ever sat there trying to edit a video and I've, i must have fallen asleep about six times in that video it was the most difficult edit I've ever had. I was so tired. But I'm going to go to sleep and then hopefully be up bright and early in the morning and feeling refreshed for the first time in like a week. And then we'll, I'll be able to, you know, spend the day with Sullivan and I'll be filming all that as well and everything. Good night, everybody.